All right, the new Star Wars movie is out. What is it? Rise of Skywalker and uh, Starbucks. I think it was one barista. I don't know. Where did I see this? Totallythebomb.com. I think that's where I saw it. I will link the article below. They have a Chewbacca Frappuccino right in time for the launch of the movie. And we're going to check it out right now. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. You heard it. Here it is. This is a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino, but you need to ask the barista to add caramel drizzle on the inside of the cup. That's going to resemble uh, Chewbacca's belt. Uh, so yeah, you see some remnants right there. It's melting a little bit, but this was drizzled. I have uh, some uh, video of this frappuccino right when I got it, so I'm going to probably overlay that right now, but now it just looks looks like a uh, basic mocha cookie crumble, but you're also going to add uh, the whipped cream on the top. You're going to add some more cookie crumble and some caramel kind of to mimic the fur that you're going to get on Chewbacca. So yeah, there seems to be these uh, frappuccinos that pop out for movies and other events. Uh, what was the one back in the day in the summer? The pink drink. Then they had uh, the unicorn frap. You know, they always do it. So this one's right up my alley, Mocha. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And they have cookie crumbles all throughout this Frappuccino. So let's not waste any time. Rise of the endorsement. It is early. It's like nine in the morning, uh, but let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, I mean, wow. Okay, so I've had the mocha cookie crumble frap before, but when you add the caramel on the inside, caramel and the extra cookies on top, that uh, caramel flavor mixing with the mocha, oh, it's amazing. It is amazing. I feel like I uh, have the force right now. No. All right. No more uh, Star Wars analogy. No more Star Wars puns. Uh, we're just going to keep it simple, but I need another sip of this because this thing is amazing. Yeah, that was three sips. Yeah, the wow, the caramel really sticks out uh, and it mixes perfectly with the mocha and you just get a little hints of the uh, cookie crumble in there. So there you go. Not too in-depth, not much more to say. I mean, if you're familiar with uh, what is this called? The mocha cookie crumble frap. There's just a couple little extra things you need to do so the baristas won't get too upset with you and mine did not. He was all about making this for me. So uh, I'm going to give it another sip. We're going to give it a rating. But uh, yeah, Star Wars Rise of uh, Skywalker. Is that what it is? Rise of the Skywalker or Rise of Skywalker? I don't know. Hold on. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. So uh, on a scale of one to 100, with one meaning, um, what is one meaning? Oh yeah, don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the Chewbacca Frappuccino from Starbucks a rating of 90. Well, There's a straight up 9 out of 10 for all you keeping score at home, logging it in your endorsement notebooks. It is Christmas time and uh, holiday movies are now starting to come out. And uh, Star Wars, you know, right off the bat, hitting you with a little one-two punch, Rise of uh, Skywalker. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing... Are you going to see this movie? I just had a discussion uh, with Ian from Peep This Out. He's a huge uh, movie buff, cinephile, and uh, we we're talking about Star Wars. Now, I love Star Wars, uh, but I just haven't seen any of the new ones. There's something about the nostalgia of the old ones. Uh, I just haven't seen the new ones. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying I'm not on board with them. Uh, eventually, one day, I will get around to it, but right now... Uh, not happening. So yeah, there you go. So instead of seeing the movie, what's the next best thing? Starbucks, Chewbacca, Frappuccino. Oh, weird. All right, bonus footage. Let me tell you something. 
Uh, I don't know if in my mind, because Starbucks reviews and Starbucks by themselves and the price of Starbucks and Starbucks and how much I love Dunkin' Ice Coffees, maybe I was skewed a little bit on the rating. This is a really, really good Frappuccino. This might be in that 95 range, but again, I can't take back the score. It is what it is, but a couple more sips in. This is just a really, really uh, good Frappuccino. I mean, I like when they come out with these new um, Frappuccinos in honor of something, but a lot of times they don't live up to the hype and they don't taste good. Taste is imperative. You can't just make a Frappuccino and be like, boom, Chewbacca. But I mean, this is this is good.